it brings tears to my eyes, said Zebedee. Everyone enjoying themselves? Yes, thank you very much, they said. Zebedee was very pleased, and he twirled with pleasure, so much that he exhausted himself. Oh, phew. Florence thanked Mr. Rusty. I see you've got your friends with you, said Zebedee. Yes, said Florence. Well, does everyone want to go to the garden, said Zebedee. And they all said they did. Nothing would give them greater pleasure, they said. Well, I don't want to worry you, said Zebedee, which of course immediately made them very worried indeed. But I think it's going to pour with rain, said Zebedee. I get a funny feeling in my spring when the glass is falling, and from the feeling now, I think we're in for a deluge. Après moi, of course. Mr. Rusty said he had the answer to the problem. Isn't he clever? murmured the girls. Mr. Rusty's answer to the possible rain was umbrellas. He gave one to each of them, and a spare one to Florence. Just in case, he said. Just in case. How wise, said Zebedee, and they went. Hmm, not raining yet. Hmm, not raining yet. I wonder if Dougal knows it's going to rain. Dougal knew. Hello, Dougal. I see you've heard the news, said Dougal. What news? said Florence. About the floods and typhoons, said Dougal. Bert Ford assures me they're coming, and I always believe what Bert says. <laughs> floods and typhoons? And monsoons and hurricanes? said Dougal. I've never seen Graham Parker look so happy. <laughs> it isn't even raining yet, they said. <laughs> you wait, said Dougal. This is going to make the great flood look like a puddle. <laughs> a puddle. This got the others very worried indeed. I hope I haven't worried you, said Dougal. But they said they had their umbrellas and they weren't worried at all. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. They had their umbrellas, they said. I suppose no one thought of bringing a spare one, said Dougal, for any lovely friend you happened to meet. And they said they did happen to have a spare one, which with a few modifications would probably do for Dougal. Hmm, hmm, only just covers me barnet, said Dougal. But I suppose I can't be choosy. No, you can't, they said. Brian arrived. Afternoon, all. Lovely day. Lovely day, said Dougal, with the snow up to your eyebrows and the rain filling your wellies. What rain, said Brian. Got a touch of sunstroke, have we? Hey? Oh, I like your hat. Suits you. <laughs> <laughs>